Hi everyone. It's Vicki Keller, your independent stamping up demonstrator from Brisbane. Happy Monday, everyone. I am a tad bit early. I am a tad Whoa. bit early. Get rid of that echo. Hi, Christina. I needed to get on here before I got too involved in maths. I know a bloke on maths. So now I'm invested in it already. So I needed to... Um, take myself away before I got too invested in it. So tonight, am I still a bit early? Oh, I'm still a minute early. Tonight we're making a fun fold card. see a couple of you on leave a comment so I can see who's coming because I can't see who's because I'm not friends with everybody on my business page I can't see who comes on I can only see on my phone so you have to leave a comment so I can see who's who's here while we're waiting I did end up using so these were the cards that we made last week Hi, Glenda. How cute are they? Um, so I had lots of cut out leftover bits. So I ended up making these cards. How cute are they? Hi, Lisa. Super cute. So this one just opens up like that. And this one is one of those ones. But I then used all my leftover bits. I only had a couple of leaves left over. But I was pretty happy with them. Doesn't the black make it pop? I do like adding a bit of black every now and then to make things pop. But I was pretty happy with myself because often I cut all these extra things and don't use them. So I made sure I made them into something. They are cute. Thanks, Christina. So tonight, we are going to be using this gorgeous paper. I couldn't decide whether I use this one or this one because we've got two specialty papers in this new catalogue and I was a little bit torn. But, because uh, this... I found the fancy fold you were trying. It looks quite easy, but so complicated. <laughs> yes, it does. Hi, Renee. Um, so this is going to be my next class. So this will be the um, March class because I've just posted off February's class today. So I thought I'd show you this paper because I'm creating with it at the moment. So it is stunning. Um can't remember this is called forever love and this is pretty peacock and moody mauve i do love moody mauve it's one of my favorites so is pretty peacock so this is the march class i've only designed one card so far but because i was playing with it i'm like oh should i do something tonight with it should i not so that's that class well, that's the paper that we're using in that class. But I've settled on this mainly because I had pecan pie, which is a colour in this one, 12 by 12. Hi, Janice. And this is the paper I wanted to use. This is my second pack of this paper. This is how much I like it. Hi, Sharon. So there's this one and this. How 
pretty is that? It is too pretty to chop. So that's why you need two packs of it, Glenda, because then you chop one and keep one. But I've chopped into my second pack already. I just love this and this. So, and then this is my most favourite piece, except it goes with Pebble Path and not Pecan Pie, so we won't be using this tonight. But I just wish you could buy a whole pack of just this piece of paper. It's amazing. And who wants to use that side? Although tonight we are using that side. But you need the pack so that you can see, see the other side. So, we're making a fancy fold, but I have two other simpler cards made out as well ready to go so tonight we need you need 12 by 12 paper for this so and you need to cut it 10 by 10 I only work in inches ladies 10 by 10 and then you need three sheets of it so you've got this piece this piece I've already scored and then we need to we'll just so we score both sides at five by five five inches and five inches and then normally so you could resize this card and make it whatever size you want as long as the sides are even so 10 by 10 9 by 9 8 by 8 things like that so if you make it smaller you could score it diagonally in your paper trimmer but because I've upsized this to make it 10 by 10 because you know the paper is too pretty to not use a lot of it that's why I chose to make this card because it showcases so much paper. Then you need to fold your piece diagonally. Just the one side. And then we'll do that again because we need a third piece. We need to chop it down to 10 by 10, 10 inches by 10 inches, and then we score this at 5 inches, and then we turn this and score at 5 inches. And this is why the Stampin' Up! trimmer is really good because it's your scorer and your trimmer all in one so you don't actually have to buy two separate tools. So then, hi Jean! We line this up again. And find the points. So a bone folder really helps with this to get a good crisp edge. Hi, Kerry. All right. So then what we're doing, hi, Marnie, is the piece with the diagonal fold in it, uh, the other piece, the other score lines you need to fold as well. So we need to burnish those fold lines. Just so, and burnish just means like crease. Oh, Marnie, it's a fun fold. Who doesn't love a fun fold? So we need to fold and burnish all the, the pieces. This is going to be a big card and it does use 12 by 12. And you do need three sheets of the same color. Well, I, I think it looks better with three sheets of the same color. So... We need three pieces of 10 by 10, score at five and five, so you've got squares, and then fold one diagonal. And then what you need to do is, with the diagonal, have it on the diagonal so you've got one square in front of you, which is now like a diamond, and you, can't, you fold this over, but as you fold this over, you fold these in underneath, okay? So you've got three of them. So that one I'd already folded, so it wasn't too bad. This one you have this, fold it over, but hold that and just push that in. Because that score line's been burnished, it will 
work and then you just need to just give it another little little push pop that over to the side and do it again for this third piece so we fold that in we fold that in fold that down hi Sue okay so that is our base done and then what you want to do is you want to glue I don't know that this is all going to fit in the camera because I've made it so big but I just wanted to use so much of the DSP because it's so pretty but you can definitely make this smaller you just need to so I've made it in years past as six by six as well and then you end up with a three by three card so this will give you a five by five card okay so you need to adhere this to this so the piece that doesn't have the diagonal in needs to be attached to the other piece that doesn't have the diagonal All right, I'm going to use double-sided tape, tear and tape. Okay. So if you wanted to make a smaller version of this, then you wouldn't need 12 by 12 cardstock. But... If you want a big card, we know how much you love your tape. Yes, yes, I do. Um, but I wanted quite a big card left over because I wanted to show off this paper because it's so pretty. So then what you want to do is you line up this piece with the score line. And then that's now stuck, stuck down. And then we can turn this one over. And let's just make sure. Those diagonals are going the right way and line this up hi Julie right so then we have this which is a massive card and the idea is that this folds in Just a little bit, Julie. Oh. Then this folds this way. And then this folds this way. I'm just re-burnishing some of those score lines just so it sits a bit flatter. So can you see that, how that went? So the two outside ones go in, the inside one goes under. So I've got to just get that one in. But that's how it folds in and out. Nice, Julie. Happy birthday. Okay. 
So you could just leave it like that, but I want to give it a little bit more sturdiness. So I've got two outside bits that then just so that you, I don't know, are clear that these are the edge bits um, that I want to stick on and then decorate with that. Okay. So I'm going to stick adhesive on here so that we can stick this on. And I am going to stick adhesive on all four sides. And then I did cut this piece at five and a quarter. So it's a tiny bit bigger than the piece. And I'm going to, I need to kind of stand up because this is so big. So you want to make sure that there's a little bit of a border all around. And it's hard to do when I've got a camera in my face. Okay. And then do that again with this one. Hopefully if you stand up, you can eyeball it with the piece underneath. Okay, so then we have the two out of out of areas so that you know front and back. Um, so I'm going to decorate the front with this piece. It's so pretty, the front and back. So this piece is done by five and a quarter. Uh, no, five and an eighth. So there is a tiny border. And then you need ten pieces that are four and seven eighths by four and seven eighths. And some of them will then need to be cut in triangles. Only all the special people are born in October. Glenda and Marnie. I thought you were in October, Marnie. So did we all have a lovely weekend? Long weekend? It was stinking hot Friday and Saturday. And then um, Sunday it just bucketed down rain. Now, it's um, this may not be <laughs> the bestest people have November. <laughs> um, this may not be the best paper to use for a... Um, card like this because it does the direction changes a little bit but we will work out make do with what we've got so we have got this piece then this piece Some of them we'll have to cut and we can use the gold piece as well. I really want to use this side, but it just looks a bit funny with this print. Hmm. 
-hmm. See what I mean with the directional paper? Because that's a bit hard. Um, that can go there, that can go there, and that can go there. And then, so once you've got your paper sorted, see why I wanted to make such a big card so you can see how pretty this paper is. You'll need to work out which, which ones you need to cut and which ones you don't. So I suggest you stick down the ones that you don't need to cut. So this is one that I don't need to cut. Try that one you liked at the top, it's not giving. Try the one you liked up the top so it's not right next to a gold. It might work better. Mm. This, it just looks funny with the pecan pie. Anyway, so we'll stick down and then we need to which I haven't got this far yet in the planning process because if you got here early, you would have known I was caught up watching maths because I know somebody on it this year. Um, so I'm engrossed in it and I wasn't planning very well. But we're going to stick this down. Uh, we need to then get some white pieces. <laughs> I can't spill too much, Megan. Um, get some white pieces so that we can do some stamping or some um, leave room for some sentiments. But this would be a good card for those that, like you wouldn't have to use DSP. If you had like a farewell or a big birthday, Julie, <laughs> You could make this for all the ladies at work to then all be able to write a message in each panel for you. So you could just do it with some cardstock and have room for everyone to write in the panel. You know, give up Matt's night torch. You seriously happening right now? Yes. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's stick this one down. Did anyone do anything special on the weekend? I didn't see any of those comments. I was too busy putting tape on my things. Hi, Kim. So we're just adhering this down. So I think there's only one left here now. That's a flat panel. Oh, Emma's birthday. Happy birthday, Emma. I worked... And Friday, I sanded my cupboard. I saw that, Julie. It looked pretty good. Nice, Marnie. I stayed home most of the weekend, but I did catch up on some crafting. I did start prepping for my March class. I did... Um, what else did I do? I cleaned up my craft room a little bit it was such a mess after last week's video working on a family tree that's hard work all right so we can now take all these pieces are you making swaps for March I haven't decided I feel I should but I'm really struggling to work out what to use given the catalogs about to expire and the mini will expire so I don't know so we've got these pieces, but because we're in diagonals, we've got to cut diagonals. 
So because these pieces are small enough, you can line up tip to tip on your trimmer. Assuming you have a very clean, sharp blade, this will go through smoothly. If your blade is a bit wishy-washy, a bit used, it might snag on the point and bend your point a little bit. So it might be a tip to uh, change your blade. Yes, it's been so hot, hasn't it? So hot. And then we got our power bill today and I'm like, oh, we need to stop using the air con. And then I got home because I was in the office today. Um, got home and my husband hadn't had it on all day. And as soon as I walked in the door, I'm like, oh my God, why is that not on? He goes, because you sent me the picture of the power bill and told me we need to get better at not using it. I'm like, yes, but it's so hot. <laughs> so it went on as soon as I came home. So that's not great, but at least I'm comfortable now. Okay. One more to cut. Mm. I was going to see if you had a free day one weekend and we could do swaps together. Only if you are making them. I do think I'm making them. I'm off to New Zealand. No wonder you're not doing my class, Sue. You're not going to be here. I was going to send you a message going, are you sure you don't want to do my class? That's why you've said no, because you're not going to be here. Hopefully it's a bit cooler in NZ, Sue. Okay, so now that we've got these in play, no, we don't want that together. <laughs> I'm trying not to have too many things. 20 degrees would be amazing right now, wouldn't it, ladies? All right. Okay, so now I've got them sorted because they're all cut. It's just a matter of sticking them down. And because the first piece was an eighth of an inch smaller than the border, then when you cut it in half as the triangle, Yes, he's running in and out, Megan. He, um, it will have a nice little border and not interfere with the score lines. Assuming you have cut straight. Hairdressers tomorrow. I sent my hairdresser a message. She hasn't returned my message. That reminds me, Julie, I'd like to get my hair done too. Birthday present to yourself, Julie. I've got Hunter's Swimming Carnival tomorrow. That's exciting. It's his first one that he's able to compete in because he's nine or turning nine. Because they're not allowed to compete until they are turning nine. Seems a shame to cover up this pretty paper. So I've got the day off to watch him compete. 
So I'm very excited. Praying for no rain. We didn't have any rain here today. Even though the app said it was like 90% chance of rain all day. That didn't happen. So I'm hoping tomorrow is pretty much the same. Oh, did it? Well, it didn't rain in the city. You're not that far from us. Adrian didn't say it rained here. Right. Christina is a few streets away from me, Megan. Wow, I must have missed it. Even on the bus, I didn't get any. Must have been lucky. <laughs> I met Christina, um, through the school, Megan, her daughter goes to school with Hunter. So that's why we're so close. Living so close because our kids go to the same school. Shower on and off all day here. Where are you again, Renee? Aren't you in New South Wales somewhere? And now a craft convert. I turn all my friends into crafty friends. <laughs> That'll be fun, Sue. Seeing all the grandbabies. I think I could be running out of tape. This is very tape intensive. But it's going to be worth it. When it's so pretty. <laughs> Welcome to the cult. Welcome to the house of fun. Outside of Toowoomba. Oh, I didn't realise you were still in Queensland, Renee. My parents and sister are, are at Gatton. I'm sure there's another thousand rolls in the cupboard. Mm, maybe ten. Not a thousand. <laughs> it is a fun cult, Julie. Okay. I'm going to have to turn this around because it's just too big. Too big. Where did my take my pick tool go? Where did you find this fancy design? Um, I've made it previously. I'm sure I've actually done it in a class. I've never done it this size. So usually I make it six by six. So therefore the card result is three by three. And I'm like, no, you won't see enough of this paper. So I've just expanded it because it's the paper's too pretty so and I was debating whether to use this paper or the forever love paper because that's my March class the forever love paper and that's so pretty as well and I'm like oh 
but I don't have any 12 by 12 Pretty Peacock. I do have Moody Mauve, but I only have one pack of that paper at the moment and I'm in the process of prepping my class. So I just need to hold my horses using too much of that paper at this point until my next order arrives, which will have another pack of that paper. So instead, because I already did a class on this paper, um, this was my January class, I thought, well, I can use this paper. And this is my second pack of this paper. So I don't know that I've ever seen this anywhere, Megan. Um, I did get like poodles made one she makes a the triangle fold card so she makes it one version so the just one piece and then I'm like I can make that better I can make that bigger but I'm sure like my husband says my dad's mother said fam said off family came from getting Eric oh my parents aren't from there they've just moved there but, um, what was I saying? So I, my husband says you can only fold a piece of paper so many ways. So even if you think you've come up with something original, somebody's probably already done it. It just means you may not have seen it. And that's what I'm thinking here. Because there's no way that nobody else has decided this before. But maybe I've just not seen it. But I've done it in classes. Now I just need to fold these in and fold those back. Ta da Good Lord, do I have a mess on my desk. So, let's just stick a block on that for the time being. So with this paper, well, with this suite, you get these two stamp sets if you buy the whole suite. Um, <clears throat> and I've already hacked into this piece of paper. Let's just leave that on for a little bit longer. Maybe a bigger block might be a bit heavier. Help that go down. Help the medicine go down. Hi, Laura. So there's dye. So the dyes that come with this one, I think. Is it this one? Yes, this cut out the images in the paper. So I could use the dies. I seriously do not have any room on my desk right now. So I'm just going to sit here and fussy cut because there's nothing wrong with fussy cutting. You don't need to have the dies for everything. Fussy cutting works just as well. Although I can't really fussy cut and talk. I used to make an album like this about 20 years ago. And that's where I could have seen it, Renee, you know. Because I did for years. I made so many albums and stuff. But we're all bound to follow something. Who knows? But my class ladies have done this before. I'm still deciding on this suite as I have so many other things I want first. Well, that is a bit of an issue, Julie. But, you know, with a big birthday, surely you can get more than a haircut for your birthday. You could just buy yourself some Stampin' Up! products then too. This light reflecting off this paper is really hard to um, cut. Uh, with me trying to show you what I'm cutting. So that's why I keep tilting the paper because the reflection is making it super difficult. Because the paper is so shiny. So 
So this wouldn't just be like a normal happy birthday card. I think this would have to be like, you know, a pretty special, special card. But how big do I go? Well, Julie, how big do you need to go? <laughs> you would at least need to make your quota to remain a demonstrator. That would be my first point. Frank's off to have his teeth cleaned. That'll be exciting for the vet and Frank. Um, but, you know, with celebration, if your order is $500, then you get more stamp and rewards to send, spend at the moment. So if you make it up to $500, you'll get bonus stamp and up rewards. That's always a great time or a great bonus with celebration orders. Go big or go home. That's right. And then if you just want, the, and think of all the celebration rewards you'll get, because for every $90, you get to choose a free product. How many of those free products do you want? That might be another way to determine how big your order has to be. Because then you might just have to, um, I feel like colouring those, but I don't have any blends on my table. That's a pain, isn't it? Might just have to be gold. This card would have to be for someone really special. There's a lot of work that goes into it. And especially if you're using specialty DSP, there's a lot of DSP that goes into it as well. So I feel that needs something. I was going to do some other cards, but we're already at 20 to 9. So, you know, that's not going to happen tonight. I need to... Stylish stump a sponge what sponge dauber instead Vicky. I don't have them on me either. I don't have any inks. Well the only inks I've got, because these were the other cards I was gonna make. I was trying to stick it neutral. What are these stylish shapes? Colour with blender brushes. Oh, we've got a square. How big is this largest square? Do, 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 do. Oh, that's pretty nice. Oh, and how nice does that fit in there with the border? That looked like it was just made to happen, didn't it? I didn't really want to bring the big shot in because I've got seriously no room in my desk. Oh. But this will fit in the little one. I don't need any enabling. <laughs> well, you've come to the wrong place, Julie. <laughs> As Megan says, thank you very much. I do like to ensure that you ladies know exactly what's on offer so you're not missing out on anything that you think you might need. So I just showcase everything. everything that I've got anyway unlike I'm not able to showcase everything like some other demos because you know you've got to pay your mortgage first you've got to pay your bills make sure all your bills are paid first Julie don't go ever don't ever go into debt for stamping up make sure all of that's paid first and then spend what you can afford How pretty is that? I think I want another one while I've got the machine out. Um, I was a little bit cool in my room before and now I'm working up a sweat. This card is, I always pay, that's right Julie. Oh. I would hate for anyone in my team to 
feel obligated that they have to put a Stampin' Up! order in before bills are paid. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> Hunter's new word. He's only been at school for a week. And we were saying something and he goes, that's outrageous, mum. And I'm like, oh my God, it's so funny coming from him because he's got such like a sassy personality when he says it as well. That's outrageous, mum. And then so I said it, he goes, oi, that's my word. Your word can be redonkulous, but my word is outrageous. Oh, they call me the budget queen, Julie. Most of my friends call me the budget queen. Because, you know, I find doing budgets fun. Lots of other people are not interested in that at all. But that's my idea of fun. Love doing people's budgets. If I could do that full time, I actually, I would really like to be a financial counsellor. But you know what? They don't actually pay very well. So at this point in my life, whilst I have the mortgage that I have, I can't... <laughs> my husband calls me a tight ass too. Um, that whilst I have the mortgage that I have, I really can't be a financial counsellor. Unless I win lotto next, for, uh, next Thursday night. Then I could be a financial counsellor. But I, that would be my ideal job. But those poor people just do not get paid enough. Oh, I did that the wrong size, you Wally. You Wally. Where's those dies? Told you, ladies, I've got no room on my desk. I wanted it this size. What a Wally. Yes, those treat boxes are super cute, Megan. They're sitting on my floor right now for Hunter to take in for Valentine's Day. But I ha oh, that's what I had to do this weekend. I forgot. It. Well, I didn't forget. I forgot that that happened this weekend. Ian has to keep working. He only wants seven dollars ninety. Yes. Well, we won. We're in like a syndicate thing at work. We won like forty dollars. We just reinvested for the big one. So I'm hoping that pays off. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be nice? Um, right. I may need that for a sentiment later. Buddy, can you just decide whether you're going to be inside or out? You want $100, Julie. That's nice. All right, so I'm going to stamp on these. I think I'm going to stamp on the... Where did I put those dies? Diagonally. Oh, I was going to say, where did that stamp set go? I'm buying another ticket with the same numbers. Oh, good luck. I really hope I win, but, you know, if I know somebody that wins, that's help, isn't it? Let's do congratulations. Hopefully that fits. Because this is too nice a card to say, just a little note to say hello. Is congratulations going to fit? Yes. And what else do we have? Today is all about you. Happy birthday. Thanks for making me smile. Do, 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 do. We will do this for birthday. But we've all discussed. Will birthday fit on there? Just. We've all discussed this has to be a very special birthday. Because a lot of work's gone into this card. If I'm not here next Monday, you know why. 
Julie, I can't believe you would blow me off for the lotto. Oh, well, today is all about you. <laughs> um, we want pecan pie. So if I'm not here next Monday, you'll all know <laughs> why. Uh, congratulations. As in a greeting. Oh, what did you say? Today is all about you. Yes. Okay. That's the one I'm, I'm like, I got a bit lost. Sorry, Marnie. I need another block because I don't have a cleaning thing out. All right. If I place a massive order, we will know why. That'd be nice, Christina, wouldn't it? If we all won, then we could get everything off our list. I feel I need to use some of these splotches or something. Maybe, the, um, no, that's already on there. I did do, how good is this glass mat? I did do some, um, though these cards that I made here, uh, was blending. I haven't blended in a long time, but gee, the cleanup was nice on this glass mat. So it's a good one if you can get your hands on it. It is part of the sign on special during celebration. So if you're not already a team member, you can get the glass mat as part of your sign on deal if i'd won i'd get a designer to come create my dream craft room how nice would that be although i do have a pretty dream craft room i would just like somebody to come and pay my mortgage well if i won lotto i would pay my own mortgage because that would just free up so much money and i'd be able to increase my Stampin' budget. It's a good one, isn't it, Marnie? Right, oh, I need something else on here, I think. What else do we want? I've got ink on me everywhere. Thanks for making me smile. Maybe we could add that too. Is that going to fit on here? would love to have a designer craft room. Well, I designed mine. Could I be your designer? <laughs> Do I count as a designer? Because there's a difference between a designer craft room and, you know, a craft room designed by somebody who would actually use it and understand craft. Because I'm not sure designers understand what we actually need as crafters. No disrespect to designers, but unless you understand craft, you won't make the um, the space. You'll make it pretty, but it needs to be pretty and user friendly. That's maybe what my side hustle gig could be: designing craft room. But you ladies all just need to win the lotto first. Because we've all discussed that, no, we're not going to be having craft rooms until we have the lotto. I just want everything. Doesn't mean I need to use it. <laughs> Pretty and practical. That's right. Glenda, I hope it's not, I think it's your dog that this annoys. Sorry. I need to get this fixed. Need some WD-40. Okay, I think I'm ready to put this together, ladies. 
No, now I've lost my adhesive over here. Okay. I might take a picture after tonight's crafting event too and show you how much of a mess this is. Last week's was a bit appalling. I just need a bigger house. Yes, yeah, see, Sue, if you won the lotto, you could do that. Now, let's have... My dog just took off. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I want a craft house all to myself. I would like that too. With a big screen TV so I could project YouTube up onto the TV. And watch it. Rather than having to squint and watch it on my little iPad. I hope multiple people win the 200 million. I think it's a lot for one person. Well, it is, and because it is so big, so many more people will go into the draw, which increases the chances of multiple people winning it. done ladies we've only done one card again tonight but it's a big special one I might just have to pop this in the post for somebody okay push this in these go in this goes under and we are sticking that on with dimensionals but what a card it is I know right I'm a cleaner <laughs> what does that matter Julie I had someone to clean up my mess after I finished <laughs> oh she freaks out with any loud noises she was three months old when Cyclone Marsha hit, so she relates no loud noises to that. Oh, that would have been scary. Bunny was a bit freaked out on Sunday morning with all the lightning and thunder and noise and rumble and stuff we had. So I had to get up early for the swimming lesson anyway. So my weekend was like a 5 a.m. start for Saturday because the swimming lesson was at 6.45 a.m. And then Sunday was another swimming lesson at 8.10 a.m. So no sleep in for me this weekend. But both days I was up at like 5 o'clock. Sunday I was hoping for a bit more of a sleep in. But with the storm, Buddy was not having a bar of it. Thanks for doing the middle. This, yeah, I think it got a bit lost otherwise. Um, yeah, I think that can go there. I think this might need a bit of something. Ooh.
Oh, I've stuffed that up. Start again. I'm not putting that on this card after I've just worked so bloody hard to do that. Glenda, watch out for your dog because I'm going to be... Where is that ink pad now? Over here. I have to stamp again because I just muddled it up. Vicky did get carried away with the blending brush. I thought that'd be safer than sticking it in the ink pad. Obviously not. felt it needed something. So this time I'm gonna try it by sticking it in the ink pad instead. Much safer. I don't know where Chrissy is. She might be more interested in maths. Who knows? She's obviously been caught up. I can't get to watch her lives all the time either. Watch Survivor. Ugh. I'm invested in maths because I know one of the blokes. Da now. So gems. Oh, there's these cork things that go with this suite. These cork things. Oh, my desk is such a mess. Right, so this, ladies, will cost a fortune to post. So probably a card that's more hand-delivered. Maybe because she thick. But... Let's just clean this off. Oh, I'm out of it. <sighs> I'll just pop that over there. This is the beautiful card tonight. Da da! It should only be two stamps. It's too, it's too thick for two stamps. Maybe if you stuck it in a zippy bag and pushed all the air out of it. And it shrunk down, but oh, that might be a struggle for two stamps. So, I would love for you ladies to try it. It's not difficult, it's just big, and it can be done. I've done it in class for before, and I've done it for six by six. So, you have the no, I don't have a letter gauge thing, Megan. So if you start the size of your cardstock that you start with, if you halve that, it's what the size of the card will be. Because I started with a 10 by 10 piece of cardstock, this card is five by five. If you start with a six by six piece of cardstock, your card will be three by three. And just work it out like that. So you don't have to use a 12 by 12 piece. You could get away and do an eight by eight and get away with an A4 piece. And then you would have a four by four card. But I wanted to do a big, big version of this because the paper's too pretty. You don't want to have too many little sheets of this. So, yeah. But even this size, you can still use a six by six paper pad because the DSP is only four and seven eighths by four and seven eighths and then plus the piece, the cover piece, which is five and a quarter, uh, five and one eighth because I made the 
um, cover piece at five and one quarter. So you don't have to have the cover piece on it, but I just think it helps, especially for somebody who may not have made one of these before or received one, that they know that this is the way it folds. It helps them determine that. So thank you everyone for watching. I hope you all have a lovely week. And if I don't see you next Monday, it's because I've won the lotto. But I'll put it up on Facey anyway. But otherwise, I'll see you next Monday. Have fun.